Hi, and welcome to Carmine Street Picks, Season 2. This is a show where we pick three books that we think you should read this week. Now, a lot of you people saying, like, oh, ten episodes for a season isn't that much. Well, I'll have you know that Breaking Bad only did seven episodes for the first season, then 13 for season two, three, and four, and season five had eight. And then, what I'm trying to say here is I've been watching a lot of Breaking Bad and not enough sleep. Title card. Our first book is Justice League Trinity War, Director's Cut. You're probably like, Patrick, I already bought Justice League Trinity War. Well, yeah. Well, now you get to pay $2 more for it. Now, I don't get why you have to pay more for Director's Cut. When you buy the book the first time, you get color, the words, inks, I mean, without color, it's just black and white. Now, I am fine with black and white, you know, but I mean, I just don't think they should have the right to get married. Our second pick is The Mask Trade. Now, Mask brings together some of our favorite superheroes, Green Hornet, Kato, The Shadow, and Spider-Man. No, Pat, Pat, it's just The Spider? The Spider? Yeah. Who the fuck is The Spider? Now, these are radio characters, and if you know who these radio characters are, well then how old are you? I mean, come on, you have to be, like, a hundred and who gives a fuck. Now, that being said, this is a computer. Congratulations, you found it. Now, tell your grandson you found it. He can help you out, okay? Happy birthday! Ugh. Our third pick is Kiss Kids. Now, Kiss will put their name on anything. I mean, like, Hello Kitty, uh, Toothbrush, and, of course, Kiss Kids. Now, if I know anything about Kiss Kids, it's no longer allowed in parks. I mean, like, look how stupid is this? Kiss went from being a band from, like, the late 70s, early 80s that played music, had great special effects, to being on Hello Kitty. What's next, Mickey? Oh, he did that. Oh, what's next? Anything else? I mean, Kiss has gone as far as putting their blood into the ink of uh, their comic books. Just like how Stan Lee used to put his semen in the ink of the Spider-Man comics, you know? That's why they were so sticky and web-like. Here at Carmine Street Comics, where we film our pick videos, normally they don't get the greatest thing in the world. But this week they did. This is the Green Lantern Core uh, battery. And you're probably like, Patrick, it's not real. You shut your mouth, because I'm about to show you something. You put on the lantern ring, and just because I know this guy out there, oh, let me put my thing in there, and it's going to glow. Nope, not glowing. Put the ring on, and I say the oath, in brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Look at it. Look at it. Let those who worship evil might beware of my power, Green Lantern's light. And now, much like Ryan Reynolds, I'm a disappointing lantern. Come down to Carmine Street Comics and pick up your lantern battery. And you can also be a disappointing Green Lantern. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And next week, I'm excited for the musical episode. Pat, that was last week. Then I have nothing to look forward to. See you next week, guys.